one. So the third microscope uh, we are reviewing today is the Zoomax. Uh, this is the, the sort of the upper middle range uh, line. They have one microscope which provides uh, an extra feature, which is uh, their higher, their highest range microscope. Um, this is the OMS two three eight zero model, which provides uh, an update of what they had before the OMS two three five zero and then the OMS two three six zero. In this microscope, uh, the there are several aspects to, to really criticize the microscope or uh, sort of uh, appraise what we have in here. Uh, first thing, to review the, the design itself, you notice that there is a bit of bulkiness into the microscope. Uh, the LED portion is built into this arm uh, and really the supporting arm to the head itself is a bit thicker and larger in size. Uh, I would attribute the difference to the uh, heaviness of the microscopic head itself with uh, integration of several uh, aspects inside the microscopic head that we will come to. Um, the length of the arm, according to the manufacturer, is the standard one. This is the 75 centimeters model. Uh, the, the company says that they provide a 95 centimeter model, which is an extra of, uh, again, 20 centimeters. Again, this is still shorter in length uh, compared to the Leica microscope. However, still better than uh, the optomic we viewed earlier and uh, different other models by different companies. Um, coming to the head itself and the ergonomics, you notice a really huge improvement over um, other models of microscopes. In here, um, you notice a really light uh, and very feather-like movement of the head itself. Uh, which is adaptable uh, by using the, the very nice uh, and smooth uh, super balancing connection system. The super balancing connection provides uh, control to the, to the uh, sort of the heaviness of the microscope itself and the direction of um, the, the, the splitting of the microscope. In here you notice that we can move the microscope to the right and the left and then fix it according to the desired uh, weight we want to stabilize the microscope onto. Uh, accordingly, you can get uh, uh, this, the stiffness that is desired. Now, um, when coming to the rest of the microscope, the, the one, the line we have to try in here is uh, the, the 2380 with continuous zoom. Uh, protocol, so you get a continuing zoom uh, knob that uh, uh, increases the magnification from uh, from the the highest magnification to the lowest magnification. The range of magnification in here is a bit less than what we discussed earlier, so it ranges between uh, four or five x to uh, something around twenty uh, x, uh, and we have the model with the manual focusing in here. Um, again, the ergonomics has been the focus of Zoomax recently, so the arms are really well positioned, the uh, objective length is, is uh, very smartly positioned, so you can control it with your thumb finger in here. Uh, the, the magnification knob is also reachable with your thumb, so you don't really get to move your hands a lot around the microscope. Um, this is the light control that increases the intensity and decreases the intensity. And then on the other side, you get the filters. You get an orange filter, a blue filter, and a beam collimator uh, filter. Uh, and, and this is a really nice advantage with a light intensity that is a little bit less than the Leica microscope we discussed earlier. However, still very suitable for uh, clinical work. Uh, you get the controls for the IPD uh, distance using uh, fingers, again, to control that uh, easily. And you get the adaptable, of course, uh, eyepieces adapt adaptable to the uh, exact um, sort of uh, operator eye uh, uh, need. Now, very nice feature that we have in here is uh, the mobile uh, adapter. Uh, the mobile adapter in this uh, model provides provides a, 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 nice, uh, a nice addition in here. You can see uh, adjusting the 
adjusting the field itself is quite easy. There is our model and you can immediately adjust your focus in here. There we are. Now uh, a very nice feature is that you can uh, actually rotate uh, the field of work all around so that the viewing is easier and uh, the uh, photography uh, and the documentation is quite easy. If we want to, to show the zoom feature, there you are. Try to stabilize the model first. There we are. So this is the zooming. Again, very easy to control knobs. Reachable by finger. So uh, this is uh, the, the general feed of it. Uh, of course, the ergonomics is a really nice advantage. Uh, you can get to move the whole microscope using the tips of your fingers. Uh, a very nice uh, ad adaptability issue with ergonomics is uh, the movement of the eyepiece to the right and the left. So you get to move the microscope to one direction and then have the eyepieces suitable for your vision uh, on another uh, direction. Um, one possibly negative aspect to the microscope is that although these pieces are made of metal in here, you get some plastics in the finish of the arms, you get similar plastics in here. I guess that on the inside of the microscope, uh, these are supported by metal. Uh, also, the base might need some aesthetic work, it's a bit squarish in design. Uh, and uh, the head, which is um, a bit of a negative aspect, again, uh, could be seen as something positive, uh, is a bit larger than the previous models we saw. Um, you get the same design as the Xtaro by, by Zeiss, which is quite large compared to the two microscopes we have reviewed today. Uh, on this microscope today, we have the, the beam splitter and the mobile adapter. This is a 50-50 uh, beam splitter, which provides really clear and nice view on the, uh, on the camera. Again, you get the uh, automatic uh, turning of uh, the light upon uh, moving the microscope up. However, this is the maximum height you can get with moving the microscope up. I would uh, think that maybe uh, uh, more work is to be done on, on this connection in here, so that you can get a better uh, spread of the microscope and a more enhanced uh, connection when it comes to the movement all around. Uh, overall, uh, perfect ergonomics with a super balancing arm, really smart ideas with the magnification and the uh, objective uh, focus uh, movement uh, at a fingertip. Um, very um, uh, easy and nice feel of the microscope with all of the range of movement you can be provided uh, of the eyepieces. Uh, to both sides. Uh, a lot of nice support by the dealer in Egypt having uh, all of all kinds of accessories when it comes to the microscope. So protection for the lens, uh, for the lens and the, the beam splitters, the mobile adapters, the connections for different brands of cameras, which is a very important uh, uh, positive aspect. Uh, the super balancing arm and the ability to adjust all of that is really nice. There are no uh, wires showing except those in here you can see. Um, everything is covered inside the microscope uh, uh, arms themselves. So overall a very nice uh, uh, collection of characteristics into the microscope. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the field of view of this microscope is also uh, really interesting. You get a little bit uh, of a smaller field of view compared to the Leica microscope. However, still uh, a really large uh, yeah. field of view uh, when compared to the uh, optomic we viewed earlier. Now, one important thing that we might have brushed upon is the intensity and the quality of the light. 
uh, Zoomax is, is uh, one of the supporters of uh, Zaius with the idea of uh, the sunlight um, uh, amount of warmth into the light um, this is something that is different from what I have been accustomed to I'm more accustomed to the Leica microscope with the colder uh, warmth of the light uh, more inclined towards uh, ice blue uh, kind of uh, quality of light in the, on the Zoomax you get uh, more of uh, sunlight yellowish tint uh, you can see that even on the on the beam on the floor. Uh, however, the clarity is really nice. You get very clear lenses, uh, really clean field of view, so you don't get much of compromise in here. The light intensity, according to the company, is 100,000 uh, lux. Uh, on the optomic we viewed earlier, it's also the same. However, you can get the, the, a bit of a feel of um, more bright view when you are uh, looking through the optomic although you get a clear, uh, a really clear view on the Zoomax and, and the very nice uh, continuous zooming ability. Now the same microscope is provided in six steps magnification and is uh, slightly cheaper also and it provides the same setup, the same equipment, the same uh, uh, ergonomics but with six steps magnification uh, rather than the, the, the continuous zooming ability you get on this microscope also a very nice feature that uh, that is really nice with documentation so this is overall uh, how we see the three microscopes we have today uh, thank you very much and, and seeing you soon in other reviews